This video is all about monkfish tails and how we produce either a whole fish on the bone for baking or two beautiful ivory white fillets. This is traditionally the way the fishmonger would actually try and sell monkfish tails. The monkfish has a huge head, 50% of its body weight is actually its head, but the fishermen remove these before they're actually sold. The surface you can see is the top side of the monkfish, we've got the skin and the front of the flesh. If you turn it off, we've got the white flesh showing where the gut was, the skin on the tail end, we've got the two kidneys and some bone. If you're going to cook the monkfish whole, you need to trim the front of the bone off. Just pull the two fillets back down the monkfish, take your boning knife, cut through the spine of the fish, the kidneys will come off with the bone and you've got beautiful white side of the fish. The first thing we need to do is skin the monkfish tail. What we're going to do is lift the skin at the front of the fish, take hold of it with our hand, slide your fingers and thumbs inside the monkfish skin, hold the monkfish and just pull the skin backwards and it will come straight off the tail of the monkfish. Then we're going to show you how to trim it up if you're going to bake it whole on the bone. You just need to trim around the side of the fish, removing a little bit of flesh, just refreshing the nice white fish along the sides. Then you need to take your scissors and you need to trim the monkfish, so you'll trim the tail and you'll trim the fins. Off the bottom and off the top. And there's your whole monkfish ready to be cooked but you also need to remove the silver skin and the way that you do that you just take hold of it at the tail end and you just pull the silver skin away from the monkfish all the way down the fish on both sides and just trim it off with your scissors and it'd be beautiful to eat we're now going to show you how to fillet the monkfish lie the monkfish in front of you with the head end towards you and the tail end away from you take your filleting knife. Now a monkfish is a member of the cartilaginous fish family so it only has one spine straight along the middle with no rib cage and no pin bones, totally boneless fillets. We're going to insert the knife along the one side of the spine and just guide it forward. Open the fish so you can see the spine on the other side of the fillet, push the knife forward and pull it along the spine. And what we've done is we've cut out that beautiful simple V-shaped bone. Then we're going to lie the monkfish on its side, take the filleting knife, lie it on top of the spine at the same angle, pull the fillet back, hold the fish, and do that gentle sweeping movement all the way down the length of the bone to produce a beautiful fillet. Turn the monkfish over, again, lie the knife on top of the spine at the same angle, lie the fillet back, and do that drawing motion all the way down the length of the monkfish and you'll produce two beautiful fillets with no meat left on the bone. If you make fish stock, this is a beautiful bone for making flavours and fish stock. Before you actually eat the fillets, we need to skin the monkfish again because on the one side I left the silver skin on to show you how to skin them for the second time. We take the monkfish fillet, we lay it on the skin side down, hold the very tip of the tail, tug it with the tip of your fingers and then start to work the knife nice and flat along the silver skin and we're very gently wiggling the knife and I'm pulling on the skin very aggressively with my left hand to remove that very strong elasticated skin if you cook the fish with that on it'll shrink and go like a squash ball so then we have the two beautiful fillets quite large for one person so if you're actually going to serve monkfish and cook it, you should cut it to make it nice and thin. Cut the monkfish on an angle so you get beautiful thin pieces of fillet. Nice shaped, nice presentation. So you can have a whole single fillet or you can have fillet pieces. And that's the easiest way to prepare a monkfish.